Alrighty, I'm going to try to go through some of the steps to download the Marie Simulator for a Mac. I have a Mac M1, and so that is the new processor. So sometimes um, there's a few extra little tweaks or steps that you have to take, but I think this one will work for all Macs. Alrighty, so um, as you know, we were advised to download the Marie Simulator, which um, we can download at this site right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click at this on this site. And so full disclosure, um, I already downloaded it. So I'm going to walk you through some of the steps and I'm going to say I already did that part. All right. So we're on the site um, from the link from the syllabus. And so go right here to sample materials. And then when you click on the Marie Simulator, what you might get is the page may just blink and you're like, what the heck? Uh, so what happens is if you have certain um, security processes enabled on your Mac, it doesn't want to download a zip file from um, not from the App Store, if it's not from the App Store or from a trusted um, vendor or contractor or whatever. Okay, so anyway, so the way you can get around it is you can right click and then just go save link as. And then what will happen is it will save the link. Oh, and full disclosure, I'm using Chrome browser, so Safari might be a little bit different. And so it'll save it down here, and then you can um, click on the up arrow or carrot, whatever you want to call it, and you can hit open. All right, and so at that point, um, if you have not already um, allowed it to open the file in your security preferences, you may get a message that says, hey, you can't do this. And so if you get that, you're going to have to go to your system preferences and go to security. And um, down here, you may have a little message that says something about the Marie simulator. And you can just say, um, yes, please. And you might be asked to um, click on the lock to engage that and to get through that process. But as a Mac user, if you download apps, programs, on a regular basis that are not from their um, app store. You might want to get used to coming in here and allowing that app to be downloaded and opened. Alright, so now you have downloaded the app and you can actually go, um, you can take it and move it to the folder that you want to use it in. That's what I do. So I went and I created a folder. And so I think we're on 50. 84 and so I, I actually moved the zip file here and then I unzipped it and um, here are the contents from the unzip and then the main program is under marisim.jar if you want to read the readme text I did that earlier and the quick guide it will actually tell you how to do it through the command line and stuff if you want to do that uh, but anyway, so I'm taking the shortcut, the easy route, and I'm just going to double click. And because I already have it opened, here it is. So I think I was successful in downloading it. Um, and now it's just time to use it. So good luck with the class and good luck with using Marie. I know some of us will need it, especially me. Thanks. Bye-bye.